Well, how about that for a lovely long tench? As you can see, the sun is well above the horizon now. I've been here since before first light and felt I should have really had another fish before now. There's been a lot of bubbles in the swim. There's clearly fish activity in, in the swim and uh, I thought I'd miss my opportunity when that sun got up. It's quite a shaded little spot here so hopefully they might uh, feed on a little bit into the morning. It's a beautiful fish. It's really weedy. It's a little clear patch I'm fishing to but it's really really weedy all around that area so you've really got to sort of hook and hold stuff you know. As soon as they take You've really got to get into them and stop them getting into that into that weed. As you can see, it's not ideal filming conditions. It's very bright now, but like I say, this is a little sheltered corner down the bank, so hopefully that might help and we might feed a little bit longer. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. That's immaculate. That fish is absolutely immaculate. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm really happy with that. After slipping the tench back, I decided to move further down the lake. This meant I could access the deeper water. It's an area that is often thrown at the odd tench in similar conditions when the sun is high and bright in the sky. However, after a couple of hours, I still remained biteless, so I decided to call it a day. However, I did promise myself I would return the following weekend. I arrived on a Friday afternoon and surprisingly found I was the only angler on the lake. So I made my way around the opposite bank to start my session. Thankfully the conditions seem much more favourable than they did the previous weekend. This one's only a small one, we've been here less than an hour. Um, there's certainly fish in the swim. I've had lots of bubbling, I've had loads of loads of line bites. I thought it's only a matter of time before this goes and uh, uh, and it did. And this one took it and uh, it gave her, even at this size they fight really well. They're just such a lovely fish and on a little pool like this, it's just a joy to catch, they really are. So it's, uh, I'm gonna slip this back and um, Hopefully then we can uh, we can get a couple more before we go for uh, before dusk. It's, uh, it's mid afternoon, so we've got a few hours before it gets dark, and uh, let's hope um, we can get a, a couple more out today. Uh, it's a lovely day. I prefer it like this. It's, it's perfect. You know, it's a lovely ripple on the water. Uh, it's not too hot, and uh, um, it's looking really good. I've got to be fair. It's a fantastic place to fish. It's such a I surroundings you know it's the lake has got reed mason weed uh, some of the swims need to be raked before you can fish them but again that only attracts the tension to the swim so it doesn't do any harm um, it's such a lovely intimate pool and it's just a pleasure to uh, pleasure to fish her to be honest Long 
for our next bite. Keep getting, kept getting the uh, liners on the indicator, so I just thought it was only a matter of time before the next one goes. And we've got this lovely this little male, uh, little male tench. Uh, looks, we've got a few battle scars on him. From where the female's probably been giving him a hard time, but he's looking fit and healthy. Has vast majority of tension here do really good hard fighting fish and an absolute pleasure to catch really is if the temperatures drop now that wind is feeling a lot cooler than it was and it's switched around um, and it's feeling a lot cooler than it, than it was when I arrived so uh, hopefully that won't put too much of a um, difference on the, uh, on the on the feeding so fingers crossed we've still got time for a few more let's hope damage on the front there but certainly over four pounds but absolutely beautiful absolutely fantastic brilliant fight off this one again they always go looking for that weed every time they get hooked and they put up a, put up a really good fight really enjoyable that's a really good start to the session as well really good start so considering we're less than a couple of hours in there's fish feeding out there every so often there's little bubbles coming up and this is exactly what happened on this one you see the bubbles coming up and it was right over my bait and I thought it's got to be got to go and it did and what a run it was as well really good fight beautiful I'm gonna put a bit more keep putting the bait in because they're, they're clearly having it today I think this, this conditions helping a lot today you know with the breeze and the, the little bit cooler weather certainly making them feed um, even before the, the lights dropped, so it's, uh, it's a really good start. Not even a couple of hours in, and we're going to set a lovely, lovely hard fighting male on the bank as well. So let's slip him back, put a bit more bait in for those tench. so many small ones from this pool but it is good to see it means that there's a it's a good amount of backup fish coming through to um to back up the uh, the bigger fish you know they normally average about four pound in here um regularly get you know in sessions three pounders but yeah and of course mate but it's a good sign i like to see smaller fish coming through it means there's a good healthy stock clearly spawn in here and uh, successfully and it's a really good sign it really is and uh, I'm not going to complain because look at that that's an absolute just perfection and miniature tench beautiful well it's been an enjoyable couple of hours so far most of my tench sessions um, especially on this water are only short only sort of four hours um, but what I try and do is get here at peak times I mean everybody knows the tension most active at first light and in the evening and that's the times that I try to get into the waters when I'm concentrating on tension I have caught them from the middle of the day here in bright sunshine uh, which goes against everything you know you, you would you would think but that doesn't happen very often it's not very consistent 
Um, mornings and evenings are definitely the most consistent time to catch tench. And a day like today, when you can see the fizzing in the swim, literally I can see the bubbles coming up. Don't be afraid to put that feed in. I've literally, I've had that fish, uh, put it back, cast out, and I can already see bubbles there. I'm constantly just firing in little pellets. There's lots of rud in you, so that's gonna keep the swim active as well. And I'm also putting out boilies, so the rud can't get those, so they'll, de they'll definitely be on the bottom when the tench arrive. And it's constantly, almost, almost constantly fizzing up. This, this at least one fish in the swim now. And I can see this little stream of bubbles. Um, so yeah, don't be afraid to put that feed in, because when they're having it on a day like today, conditions are really good. There's a bit of a squally wind. Um, it, it does feel a little bit cooler. It's a lot cooler than it has been, but um, the conditions just seem, just seem really good. And you know, we've had a good couple of hours so far, and we've still got a couple of hours left. So um, yeah, it, like I say, when, when they are having it like this, like I say, the more you feed, the more you chance you've got of keeping the tension there and, and, and more chance you've got of them returning to the swim once you've caught one and put one back. If that feed is there, then they will keep coming back. I really do enjoy this time of day. It's dusk and however strong the wind has been blowing throughout the day and today we've had a real strong breeze, really squally wind. When you get the dusk, you sort of everything just sort of settles down and you get that hour of tranquility before it gets dark. Really peaceful time to be on the water when it happens. It really is beautiful. Thankfully there's still a few bubbles coming to my swim so you never know we might just get that that tench that we uh, we all hope for around this time of day really is magical time to be on the water. in a pod. Fortunately we're not getting through to any of the bigger females today um, but it's been good fun. Really dark clouds overhead and uh, it looks like it's gonna the heavens are gonna empty at any moment however the swim is still fizzing so I'm gonna stay and if I get wet I get wet. I'm certainly not gonna leave at the moment while they while the fish are in a feeding mood, I think it's this weather that actually turned them on. Uh, it was really hot last week and it was very extremely slow going on here. And I just think this weather has really turned them on. And uh, they're really getting their heads down before they spawn. So, yeah, unfortunately not getting amongst any of the big females today, but um, at the moment, anyway, uh, we'll keep plugging away and see, see what happens. I just had to come back after yesterday, after having those fish yesterday and not getting any of the, the bigger girls. I just had to come back this morning. So I was here just before first light and there was still a few bubbles in the swim. So we kicked it off first cast, a couple of minutes it ripped off at a very small baby tench which, uh, which came off just before I netted it. And then second cast got this beautiful female tench. 
a little bit of sort of an orangey spot on a flank there but nonetheless that didn't take anything away from her beauty so yeah this uh, I put bait out last night before I left uh, having decided to come back first thing this morning I wanted to get in the, the same swim that's why I was so early and it was a fan it's a beautiful morning it really was a fantastic morning and again the swim was bubbling as soon as I got here so again I fed some fed some more bait in and then unbelievably first cast I was I was into a fish so let's, let's uh, we're only gonna be here for a few hours this morning like I said most of my sessions 10 sessions are short sessions so we've well, got a few hours ahead of us let's slip her back and let's see if we can get another one of the old girls in here <laughs> bites, three casts, um, haven't even been here an hour, a uh, real hectic session. Unfortunately the battery on my camera is about to give up so I do have a spare one with me so we'll have to start using that but uh, yeah male, look at the fins, the size of those fins, they're absolutely huge, they really are. Got a few scars on him, a little bit paler than the others but still, still give a really good, really good scrap. But those fins, I, mean, I can't believe the size of those fins, they're absolutely huge, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I'm glad I came back this morning, what a session. And we haven't even been here an hour, how about that? while for the next bite as you can tell I've got my other jacket on now and it's turned really cold over the last hour really that, that wind is quite bitter it's coming over my back so I'm not sat in it thankfully but it's the temperature has dropped since I've got you it really has and it seems to have slowed things down quite a lot because I've had to wait quite a fair bit after that after that fast start I had to wait a, a long, quite a while to get the next bite and, and, and it was this little, little male tench um, very overcast and that wind is like I say quite bitter I, I think I'll sit it out for another hour um, and then I'll call it a day because I've had a great I've had a great couple of sessions especially these last couple of days have been you know fantastic really so uh, yeah I've had, a, I've had a good couple of sessions so I think I'll give it an hour unless something improves dramatically and it does warm up but it really is quite cold sat in that sat in the back of that wind so yeah let's see what goes lovely little tension anyway look at it fantastic again a male with big fins and um and the fish in here are really good looking strong powerful fish they got great color because the water is clear they've got a lovely color to them as well so real pleasure to catch real real joy to catch these fish and they really are one of my favourites really one of my favourites and you can absolutely see why because when they look like that they're probably one of the most beautiful fish we've got in our waters
just can't seem to get through these females this weekend never mind never mind I'm not going to complain like I say especially in these conditions now the temperature dropping it's uh, a pleasure to catch them it's probably in the about four pound I suppose uh, really really strong really fit looking male with those big fins and uh, that didn't take long actually the odd one in the water considering how long I had to wait for the, the, the fish before this to come along this one was uh, literally within the, in the water less than 10 minutes so they are still feeding the water's still warm it's not so much the water temperature's dropped it's just cold to be sat out in it that's all but as long as they're biting and that's the main thing I keep putting the bait in every time I get a fish every time I get a take I'm putting the bait in I'm putting the bait in all the time every 10 minutes or so I'm putting something in just to keep them occupied just to keep them interested put a little PVA bag on every cast and all these fish have come to uh, spotted fins catalyst boily which is a real good all-round bait in it and, and the tench these tench seem to absolutely absolutely love it don't know how long we're going to be here yet so this may well be the last one may well be the last one we'll see we'll see how it goes with the weather it started to split with rain as well so <laughs> not the best